Hey everybody, it's Candy, aka Brown Eye Girl 69. How y'all doing? Well, it's pretty late. It's like uh 11:30ish or so. Uh, I don't have to be at work till one o'clock tomorrow. Doing some last-minute laundry, folding up my clothes. That's dry and everything. But I wanted to talk about a couple of things and um talk about how things are nowadays in comparison to the way they were hell even 10 years ago social media is crazy uh social media is nuts and social media is a waste of time social media is a waste of time because it was designed to divide the people. I I can't even get on my face crack anymore without people on there wanting to argue about every little thing. I mean, hell, I seen a video of a little boy hugging a little dog that was shaking. And the little boy's voice was so sweet and uh, calming and soothing and you could tell the puppy was really you know taken to this little boy loving on him but yet people in the comments making rude comments about the puppy shaking or this or that and I'm just I'm over it um there's Karens out there everywhere and they're all looking for a fight or you got people that troll you you know, for no reason, because, well, they have no life. And believe me, there's tons of trolls on YouTube. Most of these trolls will just sit there and watch other people's channels because they have no mind to make any content of their own. They're just a mindless follower, you know. And then they follow other people around and make fun of those types of people, etc., etc., I don't have time or use for those folks either, and I'll call them out exactly when I see them. In fact, I already called one out today. I went to his page and told him, you know what? You ain't nothing but a damn troll. You ain't nothing but a damn troll going around and, you know, get a life, people. For real. But yeah, I'm just, I'm over social media. I'm over all the division. I'm over every single post being about this freaking Olympic, uh, quote, female boxer, which I made a post about it on my Facebook page. But basically, this female boxer is an intersexed person. Um, they claim she was born a female, raised a female, all that, which is true. They, she probably was, because most intersexed People, honey, they don't even realize they're intersexed until, like, maybe later on in life, you know? Intersex people display the outward body of the opposite of what they actually are. So, like, for this woman, this female... I'm in care of or whatever. Internally has male testes inside her body. Inside. That didn't develop all the way. When she was in utero, her whatever didn't develop all the way. There was like a hormone that wasn't released. And so the actual outward genitalia didn't develop to go along with the internal hormones or chromosomes um and that's that's the reason why she has a higher testosterone level because in reality she is really he internally chromosomally is a boy but 
didn't physically develop all the boy traits for the outside body. And that's the reason why they believe she was a female. Because her outward body appearance mimics more of a female uh, than a male. But after going through puberty, and this is usually when it is discovered, um, her body receded a lot more testosterone than the normal female would going through puberty. Um, in fact, when a female goes through puberty, she usually receives a lot more estrogen. And when a male goes through puberty, he receives more testosterone. So that right there should be a clue. But then you have all these people say, oh no, she's not transsexual. Well, I didn't say she was. I said she's intersexed. Intersexed is, you know, not trans. And then they say, well, how can you say she's intersexed? There's no proof. Well, then uh, why did these gender-confirming tests that she took in Russia come out and say otherwise? Or is it all just BS? But you can look at her, and you can see the masculine features, uh, just like with Brittany Griner, that basketball player that claims to be a female. Uh, sorry, intersexed. What female is completely fat, flat chested like a man? You know? And, uh, claims to be female 100%. I know some women out there that are 100% women, but they're very androgynous. But even them, they at least have little nipples. Uh, you can see where there's a little bit of a pooch on the nipple part uh, to see if that's a miniature breast, you know? Whereas, you know, with Brittany and um, I mean, I mean, E mean, however you pronounce her name, they're completely flat chested like a man. They have no breast tissue at all. Um, so, that should give people a clue as well. Um, uh, it's just these subject matters, you know. I mean, it's always something that the mainstream media has to push. Whether it was July 13th, and the assassination attempt on Trump, to now, which is what? Today's August 3rd, last three, four days, all people have been ranting and raving about us. The Sun Olympic bull crap. I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of... I guess I get tired of seeing people be so stupid. <laughs> uh, they just all jump on the bandwagon, you know? They all just jump on it, and that's all like... It just goes to show you... What people spend their time on doing. Um, and what they give their energy to. Like me, I don't give my energy to any of that. I don't give my energy to any of what they're showing to the people on the world stage. The only reason why I know about some of this stuff is because of the fact that I'm on social media. I don't give my time and effort and energy to it, though. I have a look and see what the headlines are, and that's all I need to know. I know if it's a farce or if it's something that I need to research further. You know? Um, I already know if it's a rabbit hole or not. I'm not going to dive down the rabbit hole and waste my time on crap that don't even need my energy. Uh, it, that's why it befuddles me that all these people that claim to be truthers are still caught up in watching all the bull crap. It's like if you're a truther, then you'd realize that you're giving your time, effort, and energy to a subject matter that doesn't matter. When it comes down to it at the end of the day, does it matter? Does it affect your life? Does what they're doing 
affect you. Seriously. Like right now, the Olympics are probably taking place because there's so many hours ahead of us or whatever. Or they're getting ready to take place. Today. Uh, are those people that are getting up, waking up, and getting ready to start their day over there in Paris, France, um, does anything that they do affect me here in Oklahoma, United States of America? No. Not any different than Trump or Harris or any of the presidential crap, election crap going on, you know? You think those people even care about us? They might act like they do, but behind closed doors, do they? So that's the thing. Do they have integrity? Or is it all just a game? Is it all just a show? Because honestly, I believe it's all just a show. Every single bit of it. From the elections, to the Olympics, to the whatever. It's just all been, it's all a show. Um, it's all garbage to keep the people's minds garbled up so they won't stop and use their brains you know and I have some friends on face crack that I'll never look at the same because they were my friends because of subject matters and issues that we agreed upon and agreed on, you know, like truther things, conspiracy theories, uh, being against circumcision, being against jib jabs, being against the system entirely, to where now they're like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Now they're just kind of like blindsided with this Olympic farce. And they're the sitting there telling me that I'm wrong. When I'm sitting there presenting information to them, actual viable, factual information about this intersexed hormonal imbalance that took place when, before the baby during Euro and then say, no, that's not it. No, she's really a female. Oh, females can have high testosterone. Huh? 100% females can still look like a man and be flat chested and not have any breast issue, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm sitting there going, no, they can't. No, they can't. <laughs> See, so now... What the narrative is, I think they're pushing, is they're going to push that you can look like a man and still be a female. Or they're going to say that you can look like a girl but still be a man. It's, it's just crazy. It's like flipping clown world, you know, um, the gong show, um, I don't know, wild cards gone mad, Something. It's just crazy. I don't even want to give my effort, time, or energy to any of it. It actually makes me want to puke. So, I find myself trying to engage myself into other activities. So, I'm not online. Um, becoming a mindless drone because... That's what they want. They don't want people actually living their life. They don't want people actually 
having any thoughts um, of their own. They want people just to follow the leader, so to speak. You know, like my friend today on Facebook that just is da 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 you accusing me of not questioning anything, and I'm like, uh, no, sorry, but why aren't you questioning anything? Why are you just accepting what the media is saying? You know, why are you not questioning these things? I thought you were awake. I guess you're asleep. You're more of a freaking sheep than I thought you was, you know? This befuddles me. And even trying to sit and listen to people have lives and stuff like that. No matter how much I love that person, and I want to listen, and I want to participate. I really can't listen and participate anymore because the subject matter sickens me. It makes me want to hurl. Um, maybe I've just reached that point. To where uh, maybe I am just getting ready to walk away from social media altogether and maybe only, you know, get online every now and then just to say, hey, but it really is an energy drain. And the fact that hardly any of my friends come and like my posts or comment on my stuff goes to show me exactly how they really are in real life. That they don't care, you know. Um, me, um, if I'm interested in what you posted, I'm going to come listen to it. I might not listen to every single video that you make, but more than likely, uh, I'll still give it a thumbs up, even if I don't agree with it. And uh, every now and then, I might make a comment, you know. Um, I don't expect people to comment on every single video that I make, but I really would like to receive a lot more thumbs ups than I've got. And, but, you know, not that that's important. All that is, is it's my ego wanting to feel like it, it is being heard and accepted or whatever, when in reality it doesn't really matter. Uh, if what I have to say doesn't get heard by anybody else I guess it doesn't matter because it's something that I needed to get out it's something that I need to express because if I don't express my discontent with it then it's just going to build up and build up and build up you know on a side note another thing is um I did get the job they want to start me Monday night at 5 o'clock. Um, I thought I was going to work on Mondays and Tuesdays um, there. Um, but now, my first job has changed my schedule to where on Tuesdays I work until 8 o'clock. And Saturdays I work until 8 o'clock. I work mid shifts on Tuesdays and Saturdays now. And I work the day shift on Mondays and Fridays. And, I, and today is my first year, my one year anniversary at this job. And yet I don't feel like I've uh, gotten ahead any further along than I was when I started this job a year ago. Other than um, I got a 40 cent raise in that year's time. Um, my hours have bounced back and forth anywhere between 32 and 28 hours a week. Um, right now I'm probably sitting at about 28 hours. But the only way I can get those hours is because, um, is to work mid-shifts on Tuesdays and Saturdays. And then I was even told today that if, a couple of other people I work with decide that they want more hours, then by all means, still get those hours over me because they have seniority. So it just goes to show me that, you know, um, this job's all about seniority. It's not about 
what you know or uh, the job performance at hand um, or anything. It um, I've been there a year and I've called in a total of four times. Four times in one year. That's an average of one time every three months. Once every three months. Hell, I work with people that call in three or four times in a month. And for me to call in four times in one year, I think that's pretty good. And considering that um, one of those times was because my grandson was in the emergency room. You know, and I had to watch my granddaughters. And then the other three times is because I was sick. Um... But yeah, corporations, you know, I even told my boss today, I told him today, I was like, you know what, I had $47 to live on this week. I've got like maybe $20 left in my pocket to live on until next Thursday. And uh, I was like, but the CEO of this company, I'm guaranteed they don't know what it's like to live on that. Would they be able to live on that? No, they wouldn't. So why should I have to live on that? You know? That's what upsets me. Is the fact that these CEOs and owners of these corporations, they would never live on that. But they expect their employees to live on a lowly wage like that. You know, here I am, 55 years old, having to try to go out and find a, a second job just so I can actually just barely live you know because even my second job's not going to give me that many hours it's not like i'm going to be raking in the bucks it's just going to give me a little bit more to live on per week but i'm still basically going to just be working to pay the bills and working to live and uh that's it you know i'm definitely not going to be like Raking in any extra bucks to be able to save anything. So I'm basically just working to pay the bills. You know, living paycheck to paycheck. And that's why I'm about to say screw it all. What's the point? What's the point of any of this? You know, not that I'm not going to do anything but to myself or anything, but It's just kind of like, what's the point of living this life? Um, what, what lesson am I supposed to learn from living so poor? Um, I mentally don't think that I'm a poor person, but my outer life reflects that I am. You know? Um... I truly believe I'm an abundant person, but like I said... My outer life doesn't reflect that. Um. Anyway, y'all are free to share your thoughts or give me a thumbs up. Or, uh, whatever you'd like to do. Alright. Much love, peace, love, hugs, nugs, and all that good stuff. And until the next time, YouTube. I'm out.